Sean here with Rendered Reality, and I'm just gonna come out and say it. The Walking Dead Onslaught is the best VR zombie game ever. Psych, it's pretty lackluster. If you're a fan of the Walking Dead TV series, then the cool part about this game is that Servio's worked with AMC to bring the TV characters into the actual game. Onslaught takes place between Season 8 and Season 9. Rick Grimes and other survivors are trying to establish a new home called Alexandria. You are tasked with building up this new town and the safe zone area. You will often be in charge of scavenging missions to gather supplies to help rebuild this town. The cool part is that you actually get to choose how the town is built up and what areas you want to focus on, such as focusing on the armory where you'll be able to craft upgrades for weapons and power-ups for melee weapons. There are a decent amount of weapons and upgrades in this game, which is pretty cool. But at the same time, the weapons are lacking, and we will get into that in a bit. The rebuilding of the town and playing the actual characters from the show and the plethora of weapons is where I feel like this game shines. The shine just isn't really that bright. The area that I think this game is heavily lacking in when compared to a game such as Walking Dead Saints and Sinners, which is a little different since it's based off the comic book series, but with Onslaught, the interactions with objects, weapons, and zombies really doesn't compare to the interactions offered in Saints and Sinners. In Onslaught, your interactions with objects is basically limited to hitting them to open and then grabbing items with the trigger pull and it snaps to your hand. You rarely get the feeling of actually holding an item or rummaging through drawers and cabinets where you physically have to open them and look inside like in Saints and Sinners. Even the weapons, they just kind of snap to your hand, without feeling like you're actually picking up an item or interacting with it. Controls were even worse on the Valve Index, grip did nothing, everything was based off a trigger pull, so I ended up playing on the Rift S. So basically the only weapon you need in this game is a blade. It never breaks, never wears out, and you feel invincible when going up against these zombies. They succumb to the blade very easily. Onslaught is definitely a violent game, like you would expect out of a zombie slaying game. But the interactions with the zombies are lacking, with very limited grab points on the zombies being really only the neck that you can grab them by during an altercation. You're able to kind of push them away and interact with them in that way, which is slightly rewarding. The melee attacks on the zombies, they feel okay, and the zombie flesh reacts in a pretty savage way most of the time. I am enjoying trying to upgrade the weapons and rebuild my town as the story evolves. The scavenging missions do leave some to be desired though, and mostly feels like a point and click speed run trying to avoid the horde which is nothing more than a red zone that takes away health instead of an actual horde of zombies. What? Instead of giving you the feeling that you are truly scavenging for supplies and never knowing what is around that next corner. To me, Saints and Sinners gave me chills down my spine, increased heart rate, and sweats way more than Onslaught. Saints and Sinners really nailed the feeling of trying to scavenge an area for supplies while constantly having that uneasy feeling of your environment and your surroundings. Onslaught has some tough shoes to fill coming after Saints and Sinner, but it is a little bit different of a game and gives you much more of the arcade feel. The story so far is okay, and seeing TV characters standing in front of you is a pretty cool feeling. Some of the voice acting leaves a lot to be desired though. Killed. This place needs you. I can't express how bummed I am that Servios canceled their plans for multiplayer in this game. I was so much looking forward to that and I hope someday they change their minds and add it as an update. Onslaught is kind of fun and it's hard to really compare it to Saints and Sinners. Both games have some things I like about them, but I think overall, given the choice between the two, I would pick Saints and Sinners every time. It's just the better game. We would love to hear your thoughts on these Walking Dead games. Which one do you prefer? Let us know in the comments below and we will see you all next time. Later.